Hey everybody, it's Flying Ryan here with a review of the X-Drone Nano 2.0 from 4D Copter. Uh, now you may recall a while ago I reviewed the X-Drone, uh, I think it was just X-Drone Nano 1, and it was a, a micro quad, and it was actually one of my favorites. Uh, I think it even made my top 5 list. Um, it was kind of like a... Uh, X Dart Next rebranding sort of had this same look and you know really nice internal LEDs. Uh, so this is basically the same thing in a, a small size. It's it's a little it's a nano, but it's a little bit bigger than the CX10. Uh, not quite ultra micro though. I think I'd still consider it a nano, uh, but a good size. You know, still plenty small enough to fly indoors, but. Uh, you know decent for outdoors still you can see it nice and easily uh, I think I don't know exactly how big the battery is, but I mean just looking at it It looks like it's probably bigger than the standard 100 uh, Maybe 120 150 milliamp hour uh, not exactly sure um, It comes with a USB charging cable a spare set of props and there's even a, a tiny little prop removal tool in there, which is really nice. That makes it easy and safe to remove your props without pulling the motors out or anything. Uh, and it takes about 25 minutes to charge. And you get about 3 minute and 45 second flights with about a 20 second LVC warning. So about 4 minute flight times. Um, so even though it has the bigger battery, I think, you know, it's just, it's a little bit bigger and then it has these prop guards, so not super long flight times, but that's about standard for a Nano. Uh, the transmitter is kind of interesting. It's sort of that Nano design, but a little bit bigger, so it fits in the hands a little bit better. You're not all, you know, crunched up in a small little controller. It, it fits pretty well and works good enough for pinching or for thumb flyers. Um... We've got bumper buttons here, so the, the left bumper changes our rates, and we've got three rates, and it only has one yaw rate, but it's a decent yaw, not super fast, not, not too slow. Uh, so, you know, I'd like to see the yaw rate change and be a little bit faster, but it's good enough. Uh, the right bumper is for flips, so you click that and then move the right stick in whatever direction you want. It does really nice flips. Uh, you can also do headless mode by pressing and holding the left bumper to turn it on or press and hold again to turn it off. And you can even change between mode 2 and mode 4 by pressing and holding the right bumper. Uh, and then what that is, you know, mode 2 you've got throttle and rudder and then all your forward, backward, left and right pitch. And then mode 4 moves your rudder to the right stick and your left and right pitch to the left stick. So now you've got throttle, left and right pitch on the left stick and then left and right yaw and forward and backward pitch on the right stick. So some people like that. Uh, so that's always nice to see that option. Uh, let's see. Um, the prop guards leave a little bit to be desired for me. I mean mine are kind of, you can see they're sort of all out of shape. Like there's some molding problems or just the way they screw or fit on the frame. They're all kind of bent out of shape and not really that consistent and they don't go over the prop which to me I mean when you've got these prop guards that have this curl up like that the point would be to kind of go up above the prop so you can touch the ceiling or if you crash upside down you don't touch the props uh, so a little bit disappointed with the the prop guards I would like to see them a little more functional and you know not quite all weird and bent out of shape and Plus, since they screw on, it's not really easy to take them on and off. So I would have liked to see them clip on or something. And plus, that screw is just adding weight. Um, but you know, they they work well when you know for bouncing off stuff. Just they just don't cover above the props. Uh, let's see. Did I have anything else to say? Let's go ahead and turn it on so you can see the LEDs because those are really nice. Here, let me go ahead and sync it up so they stop blinking. All right, so it's got those internal lights, so they're like in the arms glowing through, so really cool, just like the original X-Drone, uh, you know, the whole body glows. Uh, but you've got red in the front and green in the back, which is, is backwards from my preference. I like to have green in the front and red in the back like brake lights. Um, but again, you know, they're, they're just, they're really nice and really easy to see, so 
definitely a night flyer for this one. Go ahead and turn that back off. Uh, let's see, is there anything else to say? Oh, you can recalibrate it by holding both sticks down left. And yeah, that looks like that's about it. So let's go ahead and take it for a flight. All right, this is the flight review of the X-Drone Nano 2.0 from 4D Copter. This is a really good looking, nice little quad, a little mini version of the bigger X-Drone Nano that I really liked. So I'll start out in low rates. This thing's got some move to it. I mean, you see even in low rates, it's pretty zippy. Start off with a durability test. I think we need to do some recalibration. How do you recalibrate this one again? There we go. Those sticks down to the left. Alright. So the yaw rate doesn't change. We just got one yaw rate. And it's pretty decent. Not the, not the fastest yaw. So now we're on high rate. So you can see this thing has got some... It's got some pitch to it. It can get scooting. So we'll keep it on low rates here indoors. Do some flips. Fly nice. Let's go to medium rates. All right. Well, I definitely want to show this one in the dark. So take her down. Turn off some lights. And these LEDs are awesome, glowing from inside, just like the bigger Extro Nano. I just wish the colors were reversed. It would be really nice to have the uh, green in the front and red in the back, but maybe that's just my personal taste. Either way, they're super visible. Definitely a night flyer, no problem about that. You can see this one from all angles, above, below, no problem at all. Didn't like doing a funnel there on high rates. Yeah, that's kind of weirding it out. I think there's too much pitch and not enough yaw to do a funnel on high rates. Let's try medium rates. There we go. Let's get it back out in the middle of the room again. Whoa, where you at? There we go. Pretty good funnel on medium rates there. Touch and go. <laughs> and there's our LEC warning. So let's take her in for a landing. See if I can land as good as in the light. Eh, not too bad. Well, there we have it. That's the X-Drone Nano 2.0 from 4D Copter. Very neat little, uh, I guess, you know, it's a Nano, but it's one of the bigger ones, but that's not a bad thing. Makes it nice and easy to see and you can even fly this one outdoors pretty well. So uh, check the video description for a price and purchase link. I thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.